Aerodynamics is the movement of air when it comes into contact with solid objects. The object could be anything, from an airplane wing to a desktop computer. We are going to display the effects of aerodynamics on a paper car. We need to decide on what shape will be best so the car can go as fast as possible. Here we have a laptop. As you can see, it has a broad, flat surface. If we were to have this computer slide in a ramp, how would the air move over the surface? Well, the air would hit the surface, of course, and slow the descent of the computer down the ramp. Obviously, a square shape or any shape with a broad surface that can catch air is not a good shape. It would be good if you wanted the air to push you like the sail of a boat, but we want the air to glide over our car and give it at least trouble as possible. Let's look at an airplane wing. Airplane wings have air glide over them so that they can fly in the air. This may help us in our car design. <laughs> the shape you see here is an airfoil. The shape used by aircraft when the air hits the front of the airfoil. The curved shape makes your air glides on the top and bottom. You will notice that the top of the airfoil is curved like the front, although the curve is now angulated. <laughs> the bottom, however, is flat. How does this help the plane fly? Well, it is because the curve shape on top makes it so that the air moves faster over the top of the airplane wing and slower at the bottom. This creates an air pressure on top that is lower than on the bottom. The air pressure on the bottom pushes up, making the plane fly. But how does this help our car? Well, we want our car to go quickly down the ramp. The airfoil shape of our car will allow the body of the car to be light while the wheels hold it down. Also, the shape, unlike the shape of the desktop computer, allows air to pass over it quickly. As you can see, aerodynamics are very important. They can be different in whether a car, like ours, goes fast or slow. So in order to get the greatest speed, we made our car an airfoil shape. This has been a lesson on aerodynamics.